Looks like all the boxing celebrities are over in Saudi Arabia right now. I saw Lennox Lewis, Antonio Tarver, Roy Jones, Usyk's people are there. I heard Usyk will be there ringside. We know why. Uh, I think I saw Michael Spinks over there. Uh, the boxing world is in the house. Of course, Mike Tyson, because he's training Francis and Ganu. I saw Teddy Atlas in a photo with Lennox Lewis. I saw Lennox Lewis with Manny Pacquiao. Everybody's in the house. So it should be an exciting night of fights. Uh, the wins were interesting. Didn't even know Joseph Parker was fighting. He's fighting Simon Keane. Simon Keane has a record of 23 wins, 22 knockouts, I believe one loss. Joseph Parker, 30-some wins, three losses. And I don't know who to pick because Simon King looks serious at the weigh-in. You can't always go by that. But Joseph Parker, you never know what Joseph Parker you're going to get. You know, you get the aggressive Joseph Parker or then you could get the passive Joseph Parker. I like the guy, just don't know what version you're going to get. So I don't know who to pick on that one. Um, I hope Joseph pulls it out because I like the guy. He's good for the sport. Great ambassador, you know, classy guy, but I just wish he would be a little more consistent. So I don't know. But moving on to Wardley and Adelaide. Wardley comes in at 241, and David Adelaide comes in at 232. Adelaide thought Wardley was too heavy. He had a lot to say when they were this close, and um, Wardley's just kind of looking at him, you know, with the Ivan Drago look like I'll deal with you in the ring. I'm not up for all this lip service. I really don't know the pick in this fight, but I'm going to go with Wardley simply because he's more calm and usually the calmer fighter wins. Usually the guy I've noticed in the sport of boxing that does a lot of this is the one that gets knocked out. So I'm picking Wardley to stop him in around eight, eight rounds. I'm not sure how many it's scheduled for, but I'm thinking at least 10. So I think Wardley will stop him by 10. I think all that uh, yelling and stuff and what Wardley called nervous energy I think that might come into play so I'm picking Wardley for that one in an exciting fight looking forward to that one now for the main event we got Tyson Fury versus Nganu Nganu comes in in his uh, street clothes and weighs in and then takes off his shirt afterwards in great shape what is he 271 272 looking great Tyson Fury in great shape. Tyson Fury comes in at 277. And I was saying on my main platform, the Jay Roos theory, that the one thing I didn't like about Ngannou is he let Tyson Fury put his head on him like that. And I thought, he's trying to mess with your mind and show you that he's going to dominate you. Like, don't let no man put his head on your head. Push him back or something, you know? Don't be like the boxing toilet and just get slapped around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> looking flabby and sick <laughs> but uh yeah Francis Ngannou has to go out there and he can't let Tyson Fury fight him at long range he has to find a way to get close even though still he's gonna be outgunned because Fury knows how to throw uppercuts Ngannou throws uppercuts too look at the Overeem fight but that was still UFC that wasn't boxing with the big gloves and everything. So I'm still picking Tyson Fury to win in five rounds, five or six rounds. I think um, you'll see the difference in levels. These mixed martial arts guys are good in mixed martial arts, but other than Anderson Silva, I think he's the only one that's beat a professional boxer when he beat Chavez Jr. I don't think any of them dudes can mess with boxers, even if it's a boxer coming from YouTube. So... Not a good look for Dana White and the MMA dudes in <laughs> the UFC. But like I said, I think uh, Tyson Fury will win in five or six rounds and they'll shake hands at the end of the fight. And there's just no real bad blood. That's why I guess Ngannou didn't really push him off when Fury put his head on him. I guess he thought, you're not intimidating me or whatever. I don't know. I just thought it wasn't a good look for Ngannou to let him do that. Anyway, it's in WJ. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe and all that. And let's make sure this page takes off like what? Like a car with the brakes off. LSR forever. Y'all better ask somebody.